We're gonna play Watcher. We're gonna win with Defect, which means Watcher's next. Let's go. Obtain a random rare card, obtain three random potions, take 18 damage, and obtain a random rare relic, or lose your starting relic for a boss relic. Um... The cinema fee is like 10 minute walk, so worth. Why the hype about Oppenheimer? Yeah, for me it's just because it's Chris Nolan, Christopher Nolan film, for sure. For sure. Honestly, the buzz about the two movies opening on the same day was completely fabricated by the studios, but it worked. <clears throat> I mean, it's entertainment as well, right? If one of them's shit, then, uh... Like, if you compare the two, like, you could just compare the two now, and one of them will just win. One of them will win, and one of them will lose. Right, um... I don't really want to take 18 damage. I don't really want a random rare card. Watcher's rare cards are pretty bad. So it might be a boss swap here. Here in Australia, we had cinemas doing an open Barbie double header. Talk about whiplash. Yeah, watching films back to back. I think there's only once I watched two films back to back. I watched. I went to the cinema to see Insidious and Insidious 2 at the same time. And it was... It's too much, man. It's too much. Right, boss what? No! <laughs> oh, this is for two in a row, man. Tiny house. Ah. Oh, shit. We don't do it, right? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Did we ever do it? Do we ever do it? I've never had a pressure points deck win. Ever. We're doing it. It's happening. Let's go. Whew. If you pick it, I'm changing art. Sean and Redeem changes spiral. She says spiral pressure points. Okay. <laughs> All right. Chop that bird. Wait, is the bird being killed or massaged? <coughs> killed and massaged at the same time. Alright, so we'll go this way. It's being tactical Hayad. Hiya! Sorry, that might be loud. Uh Wait, we have a defend plus. Thirsty my guy? Yeah, always. Always thirsty. My bro. My pal. Pressure points. Right, so I've got to think about this. If we do do a pressure points deck, how do we block? Do we have to take protect? Oh, God. Just got attacked by a moth. Right, uh, I think we go protect here. All these things fly at my window all the time, and I think they're going to come in, and then they don't come in. I mean, it's scary anyway. Right, remove a card. We could remove Eruption and brace the pressure points now. Probably not. We'll probably remove Strike. Man, it would be so cool to have a successful pressure points deck, man. It would be so good. I want it. I want it bad. Sanctity, follow up, protect. Sanctity makes sense. Block and draw with skills. 
Sanctity makes sense. Do another enemy. We need more pressure points right now. Might want to ratchet down the ascensions. Nah, we don't need to do that. Nice. Pressure points! Sash rip diva form swivel. Could you do diva form? I never use diva form, diva form ever. But if we had more cards like Sanctity. <clears throat> where we're drawing a lot, maybe it's good. <laughs> diva form f fits with the theme of only adding shit cards. I think now I know how to do it. Jack has a tension span of goldfish, so you need to redeem when he is not ta talking, taking a fight, thinking, buying thin things in show, drinking, eating. Wait, what's happened? Nothing happened. Oh. I'm gonna take the evil form. This deck's going places. Remove eruption. We can't do the elite, right? No. If we had a second pressure points, I'd probably go for the elite. But we don't. <clears throat> pressure points plus. Obtain Golden Idol, lose max HP. Right, do we go for the elite here? Consume redeem diva form, okay. Oh, that's quite a nice one. I like that one. Okay. We probably shouldn't do elites, right? That looks neat. Wait, you didn't even know what it looked like, Consume, before you redeemed it? Right, we're not going to go towards the elites. <laughs> Just assuming it's shit. <laughs> you can't do any elites this act? Yeah, that's fine. I, I think that's fine. Because until we got more pressure points, we actually can't do anything, right? Pressure points, come on, let's go. Yes! Pressure points number two! Let's go. Let's get it. Ink ball. That's good. Whenever you play 10 cards, draw a card. Card draw is good. Yes! Pressure points! It's something I wasn't expecting to hear as I tuned in. I'm so excited for the day we finally get a pressure points deck to work, man. Maybe today is that day. Today might be the day. Follow up Mental Fortress Tranquility. So we can't really go Mental Fortress for this day. Mental Fortress is a really good way of blocking in the late game, but we can't really do that. So block is going to be one of our biggest problems. Also dealing with Artifact Strip. And dealing damage. <laughs> um...
Colorless cards may be better than normal. Stuff that removes artifact, maybe. Nice. Slash rip tranquility consecrate. Skip those. Just doing loads of random enemies here. <coughs> I actually do have a win with a pressure points deck, but then again, I'm only on like Ascension 10. Right, I gotta kill this bird. Did you remove eruption again? Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. Pressure points, pressure points. No. Slash rip flying seeds cut through fate. Gambler's Brew seems good. Nah. Yeah. Upgrade uh, pressure points. Wait, there's only one mark card? This type of deck sounds shit. Yeah, there is. It's only pressure points. We do have two of them, though. Oh, we drew the other one. That's annoying. Should be fine. We're just going to block this out. I don't really want Vigilance. Maybe we get rid of Vigilance as well. Vigilance seems bad. We haven't played Diva Form yet. No, it's for the late game. Slash rip, crush joint, third eye. Third eye is quite good. Scry for the pressure points. Upgrading sanctity gets the nine block. We'll upgrade third eye for more scry and more block. The late game we're definitely going to get to. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Don't doubt the pressure points. Rip diva form. Big damage. This boss is getting wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. Dead. Nice. Establishment Wish Vault. Whenever a card is retained, we just cost by one. We probably go Vault, to be honest. We'll go Vault. Calling Bell, Fusion Hammer, or Runic Pyramid. 
how would Pyramid even work in a PP deck? I don't even know how a PP deck works anyway. We could go Fusion Hammer. <laughs> it doesn't? You need a massive PP? Uh... <clears throat> Establishment into Meditate free PPs. If you keep more cards in hand, you can cycle PP faster. Easy PP touching. Wait, what? <laughs> uh... Stun swapping is why Pyramid's so good. Debate if you're going to ignore good cards and keep supporting pressure points. I'm going to go with uh, Fusion Hammer. Right, we've only got two PPs. Let's get this shot. Now to see you collapse against hallways? Possibly. We could just get destroyed by hallway fights. I still haven't played D.Va form. Blank sleeves, indignation, bowling bash. Skip those. Shot. Alpha. Anchor. Arari to try and find more PP. <clears throat> Arari for 5 PP. Third eye's pretty good. Alpha. I really want to remove cards. But my deck's pretty block heavy. Having a small deck is great. I really want to remove. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Rory and look for PPs. No PP. No PP. No PP. One PP! No PP. Take that eye. Okay. <laughs> Huge PP. <laughs> right, now what? Do we remove a card? Do we go with the anchor? Do we even want the anchor? We could do third eye again and card removal. So I'm either going Anchor or removing and going Third Eye. I could also just remove and not take Third Eye. Ah. Which boss do we have? Oh no, this guy's not got like three artifact. That's annoying. 
I'm gonna remove a strike. Alright, let's move on. Okay, keep going, keep going. Oh yeah, there's the PPs. Oh man, I love the third eye. Maybe I should have taken another one, even though it costs gold. PP, PP. Nice, dead. Entropic Pro. Inner Peace follow up halt. So Inner Peace is only good once I've played Vigilance. I, I think I'm gonna remove Vigilance. So I'm gonna skip. Diva form or vault? Probably vault. Pressure points! Pressure points! Pressure points! Third eye. Pressure points! Oh my god, it's so dead! It's so dead! Ragnarok flying sleeves. Third eye plus! Nice, we like that card. Swift pot. Swiftpot could be good. I quite like Swiftpot. Give it a gambler's brew for Swiftpot. Right, do we just go to this flaming elite? Yes, yeah, let's do that. Ooh! One thing that's good about beating these guys is that we get the relic that strips- we get a relic that strips artifact. So that's a big deal. But it's a horrible fight. I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight. Let's go. We need PP fast. Draw three. Entropic Brew. Third eye plus. Miracles. Sanctity. PP. PP. Okay, that's a way of uh, stripping artifact. Cut through fate. Put cards from your discard pile in your hand, retain it, and it'll calm. <sighs> I 
I, I actually don't really like meditate. But it's probably good here. Meditate for the PP. Meditate for the PP. I think it's the play. I'm actually going to try meditate. <laughs> Jack hates putting an A-tier card like meditate into his pile of F-tier cards. <clears throat> Oh, I can't upgrade. Shit, I forgot about that. Right, Flaming Elite. Oh, God, these guys are going to be so hard. Oh, I think this is the hardest one for us. I think this is the hardest Elite for us. It seems like a good speed pot turn. Don't even ball. Okay, here we go. Don't attack me. Good. I could play Diva Form. Nah. Attacking. Pressure points. Pressure points vault. I need to get rid of Vigilance. Pretty trash. Pressure points. Third eye. Pressure points! Meditate. Pressure points. Okay. Relics aren't that good for us, because like things with like strength aren't very good. I only want defensive things. Centennial Pulse is not too bad. Pressure points! Oh my god! Another one! More PP, yeah.
Okay. Okay, this is good. Nice. Vault again. Another vault's good. Chest. Ornamental fan. We don't play any attacks, so that's a key. We've got two keys. <clears throat> right, where do we go now? Go through the enemy, because we could have to do a shop after. Then we're going to have to do an elite, though. It's quite a hard path. I think we do go this way first, though. P P P P P P P P P P P P P The diva form has been actual, actual garbage. What a bad card. What the fuck? Oh, that card ends my turn. Oh, I meditate is trash. Okay. Tantrum, just lucky crescendo. Skip. Right, do we try and fight enemies and do another elite? We do get to go through a shop as well, which means we can remove a card. But we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do two enemies and an elite. Is Meditate trash, or is the player who didn't read the text properly trash? Meditate's trash. D I'm gonna do the shot. Bold Tornado. Is there a power we always want in that starting hand? What powers do we even have? In diva form. Pantograph is kinda big. Then again, we can only rest anyway. I'm gonna remove a strike. Keep removing cards. <clears throat> spoon with vaults. Oh shit, spoon with vault! <clears throat> spoon with vault! I never take Spoon. Spoon is like bad though, right? Spoon is just bad. I do have two vaults. Spoon isn't good, right? It is also bad with Ascender's Bane. It's so expensive. No, it's not worth. Nah. Oh, actually, get to play Diva form here. This is a good fight for Diva form because we actually might need more energy. Clip A play Diva. Diva OP. Sneko dead. Empty fist in a piece, third eye. Third eye is kind of always good. I want it to be upgraded though.
I'll take one more. I probably won't take any more now. All right, do the elite. Actually, I should probably do normality for enemy first, then elite. <clears throat> I need, I need, like, uh, dexterity, that's what I need. I need, like, oddly smooth stone. We need more block stuff. And more draw, actually. Evaluate, protect, bowling bash. Skip. Elite. <clears throat> this should be an easy fight, I think. The fear pot is pretty terrible for us. Dead branch. Whenever you exhaust a card, add a random card to your hand. Uh, another pressure points. <laughs> We've got five. We've got five. Five pressure points. Four third eyes. Two vaults. I don't think we take dead branch, right? It makes it harder for me to find my pressure points. It's actually bad, yeah. It sucks. I hate skipping relics, but it's actually bad. Right, rest. Okay, this boss could be quite hard because of the artifact. We do get to Diva Form Turn 1, though, which is good. I could use a Fear Pot on it. I could use both Fear Pots on it. Watch how small bots steal two PPs. No, no, no. They would never. That's not a scary card. It's a pretty good next turn, actually. Oh shit, they stole my vault, which I was about to play. Oh, that's really annoying, actually. Ah, 
Ah, oh, shit. Okay, I definitely could have played that better. But it looks like we're fine. It's dead! <clears throat> what a win. Wish Deus Ex Machina or Diva form. We could go Deus. Second Diva form. We don't really need those. It would have been cool with it would have been cool with this with the dead branch and the spoon though. Do we skip? What I want actually is more sanctities. Yeah, I don't think we need the energy, right? Skip. All right, boss relic. Philosopher's stone, cursed key, or busted crown. I don't have to open the chest. It might be cursed key here. I just tuned in what's going on. We are um, killing things with our huge PP deck. We have, um, what do we have? We have five PPs. Four third eyes, two vaults. We're vaulting over people and then PPing on them. With our third eye. Alright. I think it's cursed key here. <clears throat> okay. Do we want to go through multiple shops? We could do. Yeah, we should probably do enemy, do all these events, campfire, elite, and then do a shop. So we could do another elite. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Wow, actually, youth strike. Pressure points again! <laughs> Six pressure points! Wait, how many is too many? We can't have too many, right? Upgrade all cards. We can't heal again, though. That sounds kind of bad. I think we need to heal. Okay, I think we're going to have to go for the rare relic, which kind of sucks. I mean, to be honest, it seems like one PP is too many, but I dig the effort. Become woke. Do we get enough shops to remove the curses? Uh, we do have two shops, but they're far away. I'm gonna go for a rare relic. Wow, this boss is gonna be so easy. Oh, you piece of shit. I hate meditate. Oh my god, fuck. God, I hate meditate. 
the stupid card. Nice. Thread a needle. That's a defensive relic. That's good. Skip. Keep going this way. Uh, don't open that. Don't even do it. Nope. Nope. Don't even want to know. <clears throat> This is a bit annoying, because I think we might need to kill these all at the same time. Huh. <laughs> Wow. What a turn. PP is so strong. Why did PP decks not work? This is so good. <clears throat> Skip. What about Perseverance? What does upgraded Perseverance do? Seven block when retained decreases the block by three. That's quite good. If it was upgraded, I might take that. Gained 222 gold. Nice. Lovely. Recall now. We got all the keys. We got all the keys. What's up, boss? Donu and Decca. They have artifacts, which is kind of annoying. Reptomancer would be a horrible fight for us. Reptomancer is a fight I'm scared of. Demon Fall is not even worth. Every time play three attacks in turn, get one strength. That is useless. Mental Fortress plus. No. Skip. It's not easy to assemble good draw energy block engines in PP decks. And you also obviously need to be offered enough copies of PP. And then if every enemy with artifacts is a problem. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not really worried about our damage. I'm worried about our block. I'm worried about our block. A lot. <clears throat> Like, the turn two of Spear and Shield could just kill us. Heart could easily kill us. That's a bad hand. I wonder if I want to use a pot here. I'm going to use Distilled Chaos here. Fuck! It ended my... Wait. 
That was Vault. Oh shit, I thought it was Meditate. I thought it was that trash card Meditate, but it was just Vault. Nice. Okay. Pressure! I mean, we can't stop clicking them now, right? Empty body? Wait, why would we want empty body? Why would we want empty body? You're always in calm. <laughs> For when the body is full. I mean, I'm about to remove vigilance. I'm gonna remove vigilance. I don't need energy. I can't even spend my energy. I've got diva form. I've got 700 gold. <laughs> Can a deck be so bad it's good? Is it, it? Why does it have to be bad? It's not bad. PP, let's go. Right. Shop. After this chest. Don't open the chest. Don't don't do it. Skip the chest. Shop. Chemex. Wheel kick is draw. Potheosis. Let's remove another strike. Ah. Do we want a Potheosis? Most of my decks upgraded. It's not even that good. It's not even that good. You have five upgraded cards. <laughs> but I mean... I'm not even playing the defense. The pressure points being upgraded doesn't make that much of a difference. The vaults being... Ah! I could say... I mean, that's 200 gold. I could save... I got two more shops. I have two more shops. Draw seems good. Yeah, I want draw. I mean, wheel kick is... <laughs> Four upgraded cards out of 23 is most, apparently. It's a lot of gold, man. I could spend this gold on really strong relics that actually help. The only reason I'm thinking about Apotheosis is because I don't think we have enough block. And it's going to increase the block on all the defense, on three defense, and on two. And two third eyes and a sanctity and a protect. Oh. So <laughs> do we do it? You also get two more scribe for the third eyes, three more damage per PP, quite a few things. It's two gold, though. I guess it does reduce the cost of Vault. So if I draw on the same time as Vault, it's for, we don't have to oppose the Ace's Vault. We can oppose the Ace's Vault and play something else. Hmm. Last week you said you need to play oppose the Ace's more, and you undervalue it. I did. But that doesn't mean we have to pick it up. Hello, hi. I would love a cup of tea. Cheers. Oh, nice. 
Right. What's your go-to tea? Um, I like Lady Grey and Assam. <laughs> but I'll drink anything, really. I have decaf a lot at the moment. I mean, we could just take a video, just to be honest. I'm going to take it. I'm taking it. Let's go. Event. Get 50 gold or 275 gold and become cursed. We'll just get 50 gold. Elite. Do we... Wait, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Do we ever not do the elite in case it's, re in case it's re Reptomancer? Or can we beat Reptomancer just fine anyway? I'd rather do the elite. Let's do the elite. Oh shit, it's wrapped up answer. Okay, 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 okay. This is fine. We're good at the game. Pressure points is OP. I don't have any pressure points left in the day. <laughs> Both the others last card. I bet the others sucks, man. I've got no damage next turn, guaranteed. So I probably just double pressure points one of these dudes. I don't even care about Pedias anymore. Trash card. Alright, we need to take a little bit of damage here. <clears throat> it's fine. Imagine if all those PPs were upgraded. <coughs> Would be nice. Okay, lovely. Unceasing top. Whenever you have no cards in your hand during your turn, draw a card. Empty mine. Draw two cards. Exit your stance. Do we take that? It's only good after we play Vigilance. We literally never play Vigilance. Vigilance is literally the worst card in our deck. Like, Vigilance is actually the worst card in our deck. Like, it is. Other than the curse. It's even worse than Diva Vol. I do find it kind of surprising you don't like a path very much. It's a big noob trap for a lot of people. I really don't like it, man. I don't know. I like it when it's in my starting hand every time. 
I'm gonna take empty mind. Right, let's go to this shop. Oh no. Wait, I don't have any attacks. I can't even hit this thing. Do I even have any attacks? I have no attacks. <laughs> it's literally impossible for me to change this thing's uh, effect. It's actually impossible. Unless we get skill pot. Vigilance empty mind, that works. Apotheosis is trash because it's better to just play pressure points. Is it? Yeah, kill it. Just kill it. I need to kill it quickly before it starts trying to give me a curse. Good hand. Missed lethal? Yikes. What? <laughs> that fucking yikes me. What? <laughs> Pressure points! Get it in! It's in. Shop. Empty body. Oh, oddly smooth stone. Storage combat with one dex. That's good. <laughs> you literally just vaulted <laughs> instead of PPing it for lethal. Uh, remove a card. What do we remove now? Defend? Apotheosis? Meditate's been pretty trash. <laughs> Let me just get to the bathroom. <laughs>If you're concerned about blocking enough, or is there a world where we take blind? Blind is pretty cool, actually. We don't have that much block. Blind is actually a good card. That I never would have even considered, unless I've read it in Twitch chat. Um... I'm not- I'm not buying Mercury Hourglass or Frozen Eye. Do we remove a Defend? Or do we remove Vigilance? I don't know. The only reason Vigilance is ever somewhat okay is because of Empty Mind now. Vigilance probably would have been the remove. Remove Meditate. <laughs> meditate has been trash. I just snotted everywhere. I mean, the thing about Meditate is that, like, Meditate would be good if I had, like, one or two PPs. Because we can find them back again. But I've got... Oh, my God. Wait. We've got eight PPs. So Meditate is actually garbage. I would probably rather defend than Meditate. Rock Wolf, the deck is just PP. Pee -pee. Let's just get rid of Meditate. Actually, wait. It's another way of getting into Calm, though. It is a way of getting into Calm, which is good for uh, Empty Mind.
<laughs> this man's so attached to his defense. Yeah, I could just remove defend. I'm gonna take blind. I could save my we could save our gold for the last shot. We do have one more shot. We could save our gold. Because this is it. I think we may as well save our gold. Let's save our gold. Okay, let's go. Rest. Okay, Act 3 bosses. I'm not sure if I've ever got to the Act 3 bosses with a PP deck before. I think this is the furthest I've ever got. I think this is the furthest we've ever got with PP. Pertheosis. Try and kill the pyramid first. Apply too weak to all enemies. Wow, I didn't realize it was AoE. I'm gonna take loads of damage here. Actually, no, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> they just die. They just die to the PP. Nice. I don't even know what boss I want. Timing is probably fine. Defender's ass. I mean, meditate, sorry, is ass. It's worse than defend. It's actually worth an event. Nice. All right. <laughs> is there <clears throat> is there any chance we actually beat the heart with this? This is by far the furthest I've ever got with the pressure points deck. By far the furthest. Is it even possible? I don't know. Rest. We have to rest. Spear and shield probably harder than the heart. Right, shot. We've got 220 gold to spend in this shot. Ah. Pellets. Strawberry. P power pot. Are there any powers that are, like, really good? Ah. 
I don't think we want the bottled miracles. I think I'd rather have power pot. PP is a debuff. Yeah, sadistic nature is just trash. Um. Safety. Actually, wait, I do have unceasing top. I've got to remember that. Maybe because of unceasing top, the bottled miracle is good. I could just remove this trash meditate. I fucking hate this card. Where is it? Get it out of my deck. Okay, it's gone. Right. Do we want power pot? Skill pot. If you remove meditate, what will you complain about? Diva form, probably. Um... So the unceasing top's not very good on turn two against the spirit shield because uh, the burns. But it could be good against a heart. I don't even know what. What even are the powers? You can get light war or whatever it's called, where it's like when you're in calm, you get like five block at the end of your turn. That would be quite good. Uh... Oh fuck! Anything else? The powers. They'll suck. They'll suck. Nirvana would be okay, like war would be okay, full sight would be okay. Oh yeah, there's the one that's like, gain block when you scry, right? That would be a really good one. Okay, we maybe do go with the power pot. So now I've got to pick which is worse out of the skill pot and the bottled thingy. I think we probably get rid of the bottled miracle. And just get, get the power pot. The skill pot that gives us a card we probably won't want it won't exhaust. I mean, it could give us block, though. Or it could give us PP. Yeah, fuck it. You know what? Let's give it a skill pot. Go with the power pot. Let's go. Right, do we use power pot against spear and shield? That's the question. Let's go! Do we use power pot now? We might get another part after this fight anyway. I'm gonna use it now. At the start of your turn, scry three. At the start of your turn, give one energy and increase game by one. At the start of your turn, shuffle an insight. Uh. Never seen a PP win before? Same. It's, it's probably not Foresight. It's either Study or Diva. I was not expecting to come back to this PP run in Act 4. Let's do Study.
Do we ever intentionally lose health here? To draw from Centennial Puzzle. Sacrifice eight health for drawing three cards. I mean, I can use pressure points to get to four. Yeah, I should have played Defend before Apotheosis, right? Fuck, yeah. If I played Defend before Apotheosis, that actually would have been better. I could just Defend. We need to get three draws. Fuck it, let's go. <clears throat> Vault is huge! Vault is humongous. Yeah, that's what we like. That's what we like. We like that a lot. I've still got Diva form in the deck. Why is this still here? Why did I even take Diva for? <laughs> Block pot? That's a good one! Akabeko is useless! I don't have a single attack in my deck, so that's garbage. Alpha, just lucky, empty body. Skip. <laughs> Diva form has been officially promoted to meditate. The same as adding shit cards. Yeah, I shouldn't have added the shit cards like Meditate. True. Right, let's go. 66. Can we beat the heart? Can we beat the heart with this? Ah, for the Akabeko synergy? They don't even have any synergy. It doesn't even give you an attack. This is honestly a very instructive run. To make PP work, you just need lots of PP. And when we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We've got 8. Yeah, we've got eight. Eight PPs! Yo, if this wins, this would be so sick. I, don't, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't believe right now, but let's see. Let's see. Go. Let's go. Okay. Diva form. So we'll play third eye. We want Vault and then Pressure Points. And play D.Va. Actually playing D.Va. Interesting. Okay. Chill. I'm gonna draw cards here. Unless I play the Block Pot. Like, I'm gonna proc the Centennial Puzzle even though I don't really want to. But we should do it. Wait, do we bottled miracle? Hang on a second. Do we bottled miracle now to apotheosis the miracles? Yes. No. Yes. Mm. 
I don't know. Probably. I mean, I could use the block pot. So I don't proc the centennial puzzle now? No, no, let's do this. Shit. Pressure points. Wait, do we defend? Wait. Are we using Miracle this turn? If we use Miracle, we get to play an extra... Pressure points. I want to start doing damage quick. Quick time. Draw. Oh shit, three times 15. That's not good. This is not good. I gotta play the block pot. Shit. I can't even get uh, unceasing top value. Oh man, I think we die next turn. No! I think we're going to die next turn! Ow! 67 damage. Okay, Sanctity. We do have Blind. Play Blind. 50 damage. Protect. Defend. Uh, 49 health and it does 50 damage. And we have no way of blocking anymore. No, man. We were so close. Oh, if we dropped our last card was Vault. Ah. Uh, oh, God, the pain, man. Play all your cards for top. I can't play the Void. I can't play the void. Oh, it's so sad, man. Fuck. You survive if the attacks are in the other order. Should have had first aid kit. Oh. One more, one more good defensive relic, and we probably survive this turn, and then we might even win. The pressure points do so much damage. Right, am I missing anything? I don't think we're missing anything. We don't have any of the thread and needle left. <sighs> PP too small. Oh, it's so sad. We were so close to a PP win, man. It's so sad. The damage was scaling up massive as well. We could have killed it in like two turns. Damn, man. Oh! So close. So close, man. It would have been amazing. It would have been amazing. We are going to... Eventually, we are going to get a win with PP, man. We're going to get a win with PP at some point. It's going to happen. That was a fun run. That was a really fun run. We needed, if we had like a couple more Sanctities, we would have been totally fine. Sanctity was such a good card. Sanctity was, I think if you lived through that turn, you won. Oh, I think I agree, which is so annoying. <laughs> we were too, too health, too health of surviving there. All right. Oh, it's actually so brutal, man.
<sighs> so close.